Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and this is your question of the day. So, somebody asked me, can I sell products in collegiate colors without a license? I sell products that come in a variety of color combinations that match the colors of various colleges. I know the college colors are protected. However, I noticed there are major companies in my industry who have navigated this successfully without licenses and violations. How do they do this? Okay, so it sounds like it's a situation where colleges have their trademarks, you know, on their name, on their um, logos, slogans, mascots, those things. And you have to have a license to sell official college school advice or products, uh, merchandise. There's the word I was going for. Um, and without that, you can't put the school's name on it um, or any of their other trademarks. Now, there generally aren't trademarks just on color combinations. There are a lot of different things that may have red and black, blue and white, black and orange. Um, yeah, you know, there's just only so many color combinations. So if the product you're selling happens to match the colors of a school, but doesn't say um, the school's name on it, that doesn't sound problematic. Um, you just might be catering to your audience that they want products in certain colors because they're fans of the school and it'll match the rest of their licensed materials and products, merchandise. Um, but you're not affiliated with the school, you don't need a license, it just happens to match. Um, that doesn't raise a red flag for me. So I believe that's the answer to your question and how other people are getting around that. Um, if it is a situation where they're putting the school's name on it and they don't have a license, I would just be wondering if they just haven't gotten caught yet. Um, but schools tend to be very protective of their trademark and sending cease and desist letters quickly when they see someone selling um, products that appear to be affiliated with the school that don't have a license. So, of course, watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship with any viewer. It's merely legal information, not legal advice. So if you are in this type of situation, please go meet with an attorney to get proper advice based on your needs. Um, I put out new content every week, so please subscribe to the channel. And until then, we'll catch up with you later. Take care.